Hey YouTube, Mike here. How are we doing today? Hope we all have a safe and productive week. <clears throat> all right, today um, we want to do the install of the new Festool Bluetooth, the 202097 Bluetooth module kit, which uh, my wife got me for Father's Day. And the unit um, comes with the Bluetooth receiver, transmitter, straps, instruction booklet uh, to do it on a 26 and above. Not, it's not um, set for the MIDI or the mini um, dust extractor. It also has bands that you will be able to do both hoses, the larger and the smaller hose, including the snaggletooth hose over here and their new um, snaggletooth hose. Okay. Uh, the only tools that you're going to need is a um, five millimeter Allen key, uh, maybe a pair of needle nose pliers if for the larger hose to get the rubber band around it. So let's um, open up the kit. Um, gives you an instruction on make sure that you are unplugged. Then it has a large band. a smaller band an instruction booklet that you better bring and read it in the toilet quite a bit and so it's in all languages then you have the actual uh, Bluetooth receiver and the transmitter that goes on to the um, hose. Okay, in our case, we're going to put the first strap on. Um, I need the smaller one. It just fits into grooves right here. Okay, this you have your, of course, your auto off and manual. You have your speed, then the blank plate. You have your plug. You're taking the blank plate off. They're very long screws. They reach down pretty far. You can remove this without taking the um, hose garage off. Okay, two screws, your garage. Now, let me take this camera off so I can show you inside the unit. Uh, let's see if you can see it. There it is. It's plugging into this port right here. So it actually, there's no, there's no wire. You're just going to, it just kind of snaps. Make sure you get it in straight. And that's it. Just snap it in. It goes right in there. Okay, let's get this back up here. Now, I don't know if you hear a little noise in the background, but we'll get to that in a second. And as you can see, I'm not sweating. Okay, tighten this baby up. Then you want to have it, you want to have it set to auto. Then, this way, so I have this thing hanging on my head. Plug it in. See, I have the Oniter. Well, I took everything off. The Oniter, everything off. Oh, one eye servicing it. You know, checking the bag. To make sure if that thing is perfectly clean. Okay. Let's get the hose in there. Let's just get this over here for now. Now, you want to have it on auto. You want to push this until the blue light goes really, really, really fast, and then press. Voila. Now, if it's on off, it will not work. And you can still put it on manual. Now, I'm going to probably play with this a little bit. Wrap it on the hose. 
and then just bring this around and oh, it worked perfectly. There we go. So now plug it in something like the uh, like I've always going to use the Yeah, the uh, cordless uh, sander. So now. <laughs> I, I used to, I, I was at the model railroading years ago. I used to have Markling trains, which are German. They ran better than any model trains I, I had. And even when I buy something, I go to the Germans. They make just unbelievable toys and unbelievable tools. You can actually, for what I have read on this, you can actually buy and put on another Bluetooth module. So you can actually have two hoses. This is so cool. Unbelievable. Really cool. Well, I hope that was uh, helpful for you guys. Um, it was um, $80. Yeah, it was $80. Uh, you know, wherever you buy it. And that's it. But um, here's something I found out. Do you know that they make a plug? So you can add another plug to this? Yeah. I saw it on a New Brit workshop. Uh, one of his tools. And I saw he had another plug. And then I started going through his um, videos, and he kind of does a demonstration on this also. And, and he removed the plug. I was like, wow, that's so cool. Now you can have that plug and another plug you could have had. All right, let me move this and show you a couple of new things I got. I've been looking at this company for a while. New concepts. They make these fret saws. I decided to buy the five inch because of the, the dovetailing that I want to do. So besides chiseling out the dovetails, I want to try a fret saw. <clears throat> Check this guy out on YouTube, Frank Klaus. I'll, I'll add his name to the description below. Um, He's like Norwegian or German, a craftsman beyond craftsman with dovetails. He does a three minute dovetail. Yeah, just one side, three minutes. Hand cut. You got to see this, the fret saws, this, I mean, massive fret saws. And he cuts these dovetails, unbelievable. I've been watching him for years. So I picked this up. Uh, this is the basic model. They make a titanium model, uh, which I'm most likely going to get the three inch one. This is the five inch. So it's five inches from the top of the blade to the throat. And basically, um, the, other, the difference of the other saw, besides it being stronger, is that you can pivot this 45 degrees. So, like when you go in, when you go in, you know, when you go in with, to cut the dovetail, you're going to flip this and then cut it across. So you're going to cut down and then you're going to go back and flip it and cut it across. With the other saw, you can actually bring it down this way, bring it in, and cut it like that on a 45. And blade tension micro tension and then just I mean it's self-explanatory loosen these two screws and then the blade pops out put a new blade in tighten the screws make sure you got your micro and then hit the um, the tension of the blade and then they I bought a 10 pack hold on that's what happens when you get old can't remember 10 pack of um, skip tooth. Um, uh, they're jewelers. They really like jeweler sauce. And they were just adapted to, to, to woodworking. Um, in fret saw. Um, I am not getting into Makita. Don't anybody say, whoa, 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 what's this? You got two Makitas now. There's a story behind this Makita. 
years ago, my father, my uncle, d doing the work we were in, we used to do a lot of sheet metal screws in the vent pipe for the boilers and water heaters. We used to use a skill metal drill, non-insulated, old as the hills, sparks flying out of it. I'm like, Dad, Uncle, but let's buy cordless. No, 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 baloney, baloney. So on my birthday, I got money. I ran to the local tool store, and I bought a Makita cordless drill. You know what the big battery that went in the handle? And the next, uh, the next day, we're doing a boiler, and I'm zipping these screws in. My uncle walks over and is like, what the heck is that? I go, it's a cordless drill. Let me try it. That day goes back, tells my father about it. My father's shooting screws into it. We drive home. Mike, we're going to the tool store. Yeah, he goes, he buys five of them, one for each truck. But then they had that circular saw. And we used to use that. We'd cut everything with it. We would cut dry, we'd cut the paneling and everything. And of course, you know, everything was discontinued. And then I, I saw that they made something very similar to it, a little three inch saw. And I'm like, wow, I was like reminiscing about it. So I picked it up. Pretty cool. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I would say paneling, maybe some drywall. It's got a little bit of power to it. Uh, comes with a semi carbide tooth blade. It's um, 12 volt. I have uh, the 2 battery and I have a 4 battery. So, and the 4 battery is charging. Picked one up this morning just to see how much more power for this and for the, um, uh, uh, the router. So that was the story behind this. All right, as you can see, I'm not sweating. Well, I'm not sweating as bad. Uh, we, were turn, we were turned down to put the air conditioner in because of the compressor outside. So what I ended up doing, and this is funny. This is like real, like I had to get it in. <laughs> Look at this. There's the air conditioner, right? And I thought I could have vented it out that chimney right there but that chimney is four inch there's a six inch vent and it's four feet long and I cannot alter it or well, this thing will overheat see so what I did was I shut the garage door I put some plywood this um, the Kai sand foam box and there's the air conditioner and it's right now 72 degrees inside the garage and it's tolerable I can act, I can actually actually I was doing some stuff and some putting some stuff away um, this morning and it's nice so I gotta drill a hole through the side of the wall I'm gonna put a six inch uh, actually one of those six inch um, range hood vents right outside you know seal it up I'll have it come in and then I'll just plug it in turn it on it'll be sitting there in the corner and it'll cool the garage and I don't have to leave the door open those blows are there more so so the snakes don't crawl in while I'm sitting here not noticing them. So, all right, YouTube. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the uh, video and got something out of it. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the little uh, reminiscent story. Um, again, I'd like to thank everybody for all the subscribes. I'm over 3,900. Thank you very much. Those comments, please keep them coming. And I have my email. Those, that email is there in case, if you want a Mike's Woodshop sticker. And we sent out quite a few this week. Um, thank you, everyone. But if you have a question about a tool, about whatever, email me. Shoot me an email. You don't have to put it in the comments. Shoot me the email. Ask me, hey, Mike, can you show us this? Can you show us that? I had a couple of people ask they want to see my service bag, my, Vet, my Vetapro collection that I showed. And, but I have, a, I have service bags. They want to see what I carry in them. You know, I guess so they, they know, you know, to see what I carry in, they can pick up, which... You guys want something just shoot me an email or put it in a comment and I'll be more than happy to add it to the videos as I go along all right YouTube um, again thank you very much and uh, you'll be safe out there and I'll see you on the next video bye bye now